So I thought it might be kind of cool to have a look at the original Apple iPod, the uh, very first one that Apple brought out back in 2001. This came out in November of that year, and I was actually an early iPod adopter. Got mine, I think, about early 2002. The uh, first generation iPod, 5 gig model. It's actually been broken for a while. Um, had it lying around in a drawer. Um, the battery was the only problem with it, actually, I found out. Um, since then, gone out and bought a, uh, a jailbroken iPhone. I've also got the um, iPod Classic 80 gig as well, but um, after bringing this back to life last week, I thought it might be quite cool to have a look around what the iPod did look like when it first came out in the um, traditional iPod white. Um, quite thick compared to the uh, more recent iPods, the 5 gig model compared to the 8 gig iPhone. You can tell, you know, double the width and uh, less space on it as well. A lot thicker than the even the 80 gig or the 160 um, classic. Um, looking around it as well, quite interesting to note that it was before Apple came up with their dock. Um, you can't use the first generation iPod with a dock. Um, nothing on the side of it. On the top, you have a Firewire, predated the um, iPod USB. Uh, then you got the headphone port. It did come with the traditional old style Apple earbud, which I did replace rather quickly with some Sennheiser um, white earbuds with quite a nice bass in them as well. Sound a lot better. Um, on the top of it, you've got a hold button, quite a bit bigger than the one that you get now. Nice click to it as well. Um, looking at the iPod. Looks a bit different to the current model as um, the scroll wheel actually moves around with your finger, a mechanical wheel. You've got the four physical buttons around the edge of it, menu, fast forward, play and pause and a rewind and the select button in the middle as well. Um, comes with a traditional LCD screen that the iPod had until the uh, fifth generation. Um, backlit with a light behind it looking through the menu. Not too different to what we've got now really with the uh, omission of video on there. Uh, going into there as well you can see that it did predate the podcast. There isn't a podcast option in there. If you do put a podcast on it, it appears in the playlist section. In there. Um, in the extra menu, got a clock. Very simple text-based clock in the calendar. Again, really, really basic compared to what we have now. Did the job there. Um, you just get a game included too. An old uh, breakout clone in black and white. Settings menu, not really changed a lot over the years. shuffle and uh, the backlight control as well. Now I did lose my original um, iPod Firewire cable, though it was rather nice that it came with a charger um, which you can use to charge up the iPod if you're not near a computer. Um, I did go out and buy a new Firewire cable the other day though, sadly not a white one, came in black, but um, it will work. To plug it into the top there and then uh, into the side of my MacBook. A bit less elegant than the than the dock that we have now. Let me get a quick reboot before it connects up. And then the uh, normal do not disconnect screen. iTunes will recognize it and give it the uh, old iPod logo, the software version, um, the five gig model with a bit of space taken up for the operating system. And that's about it really, a look at the uh, original iPod, I thought it might be kind of cool since they do appear to be quite rare now, which I've now repaired and brought back to life, a little bit scratched up but still working, um, six years after I bought it.